Hello Mexico and Expo Exotics. My name is Steve Gilfield and I live in Iowa in the United States. And um, my friend Roger asked me to put together a little video about a very, very special snapping turtle that lives with our family. His name is Tank. Tank is a common snapping turtle, Chalidra serpentina. He's been with our family for, oh, six and a half years. He was just a young turtle when he came to us very young turtle and we have raised him as part of our family involving him in many of the things that we do throughout the day and as you can see he is not what you would call common most snapping turtles Chalidra serpentina are very uh, defensive when it comes to people uh, they're a shy animal they usually don't like to be around people they are defensive out of the water. Most of the time in the water they're a uh, pretty easy going turtle. Tank came to us as just a young one and we have brought him up in our home and as you can see uh, he's used to being handled. This is not normal. I don't suggest that you handle your snapping turtle this way. I have spent thousands and thousands of hours working with Tank um, he is a very intelligent turtle. I think that um, if given the right stimuli and if you have the right turtle, uh, you can end up with a very, very special animal. But then there are a lot of snapping turtles, I would say most snapping turtles, that are wired differently. They are not wired for this kind of social behavior. Uh, they will bite and they will defend themselves. The time I've spent with Tank has certainly paid off. As you can see, we have a very good relationship. I trust him and he trusts me. Uh, Tank gets regular vet visits and uh, for the most part has been a pretty trouble-free turtle. He gets cleaned all the time and like any kid, he doesn't like getting cleaned. He's a very uh, smart turtle. Uh, he's able to understand hand signals and most of the time he'll follow my advice and then there's sometimes he's just a stubborn boy and that's okay. Tank has never bitten me out of um, defensiveness or anger. I have been bitten a few times during his feeding time and on those occasions he immediately let me go causing no injury to me at all. Chalidra serpentina is the scientific name, and serpentina means snake-like, and they get that from their very, very long necks. Tank is a rather large male for a common snapping turtle. He's uh, 37 pounds right now and only six and a half years old. I expect him to maybe get up around 40, maybe a little over 40 pounds. He comes from the state of South Dakota and was brought down here by a family who found him shortly after he emerged from his nest. Their skin is uh, very rough and then there's also places on them that are very smooth. They have independent moving eyes which helps them when they're out hunting. One of the bad things that happens to snapping turtles is they're not treated with much respect in the wild. Most people think that they uh, you know, are going to hurt you or attack you and these kind of things just aren't true. Snapping turtles in the wild really do want to just be left alone. So if you do encounter one out in the wild, please be respectful to it. Um, don't poke it with a stick or, or do anything else. Um, I think if a big giant creature came up to me and poked me with a stick, I'd probably be pretty defensive too. Well, snapping turtles are no different. Snapping turtles don't use their legs uh, to defend themselves as a rule. They have one way of defending themselves and that is with their beak. It's a very sharp beak and um, when I say sharp I mean almost razor sharp. Uh, his beak on both the top and the bottom, uh, If when I do feel it, it feels like a, uh, a very, very good pair of scissors and they use that for biting off big pieces of flesh 
uh, in a fish or other animal that they catch. A turtle this size is at the top of the uh, food chain. They don't have to worry about any other predators except man. Man seems to be their big downfall. So here's just a little insight to my, my big turtle tank. And um, if you'd like to see more of Tank and maybe read more about his uh, remarkable life, you can go to tanktheturtle.com. He has a website. Once again, hello to everybody in Mexico, and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you.